Hey guys, sorry it's been so long since I made a video. I've just been really busy lately. Um, I've had a few people ask me about bow drill fires and uh, I want to show you that today. Uh, what I use actually as my tinder to start the fire, I like to use what is called jute twine. It's a twine you normally get just at a hardware store. See if the cam camera will pick this up. Uh, twisted jute. There's some other twines I have there, and uh, like a hemp based, and that doesn't seem to work as well. So, this is actually going to be my tender bundle. If you take this, and it's twisted, if you twist it the opposite way, it has a tendency to come apart into the three different bands that it's comprised of. Just keep twisting it. Take these apart. Once you get those apart, you can do the same thing. Twist these again. You just get finer and finer twine out of that. That comes apart. Comes apart like this. You can take this, get a big bundle of it, and it starts very, very quickly. It's very good. I'm going to go ahead and make a small pile of this, and then I'll, I'll be back with you. Okay, got my jute twine bundle. I normally like to make it the size of my fist or bigger, but I'm losing a little light out here, and it's getting a little windy. So I'm trying to do it with this here. All right. On this bow drill, on the, what's this called the fireboard. Obviously, I've used this one too much. I put a hole right through it. Um, this one's actually too far back, so I I did this one here. Um, you want to cut a groove into it. Uh, I call it about a half Pac-Man. So, if Pac-Man opens all the way, he's like this. If he's halfway, he's about this angle. You want to make it so that it's just outside. The point is just outside the middle of the hole. I don't know if you can see that very well or not. And then as, as your um, spindle is spinning, all the residue will go down into this crack. I put this wood out here because it's really wet, really soaked. Um, about four feet that way is actually standing water. So uh, I didn't want to get too wet. All right. Underneath this board, you want to put something to catch the ember. A leaf, a piece of wood. Uh, let's see what I got over here. I'm just going to use a leaf. Now the different parts of the fire bow is the fireboard, the handhold, the spindle, and of course the bow. Now when making the spindle and the fireboard, you want to use the softest wood you can find. What you want to do is push your thumbnail into the wood, and if it leaves a crease, then you know it's good wood. I have actually start a fire with harder wood, but it's really difficult. The bow, it doesn't matter, just a stick that's supposed to use green. This has been out for a while, so uh, just something that's slightly bowed. Obviously attach your twine, string, rope, whatever you're using. On the spindle, this side's more tapered. This side's more blunt. This is the one you're going to be making the ember with. The reason why is because you want more surface area for the friction. And this end goes into the spindle, the handhold. Just like that. Now with this, it's just a piece of wood cut in half that I gouged out a hole for this to fit into. Um, I normally put a green leaf in there uh, just for some lubrication. 
but what I've been doing lately is taking some pine needles, putting them in there and crushing them like a mortar and pestle. Uh, now it's glazed over, so it should spin really nice because you don't want to try to start a fire in your spindle. I've actually got it smoking a couple times and it's not fun. It's a little, little hot. Foot placement is uh, a large part of a fire bow, doing it properly. You're going to put your foot on the fireboard to hold that steady. Brace your arm against your knee. You always want your spindle on the outside of the string, just like this. Because if you put it on the inside, you only got this much uh, area to move the bow. On the outside, you have the full length of your string. said the most important part is to brace this arm against your knee. Let me get it going. Let's get it started. Now I'm starting to see a little smoke. Now when you start seeing smoke, that's your cue to go faster and push harder, push down harder. slightly on it. See the ember in here. I need to do, I need to make a bigger bundle. This isn't holding it. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a big, bigger bundle and I'll get back to you. Okay, I can show you what happened here. I made this hole actually out too far, I guess. And this is starting to taper and it's rolling right out of that. So, I'll have to make a different hole. Okay, I went ahead and I'm going to use this one that I said was too far back. The reason why uh, I said it was too far back is because there's no, no sense in cutting this all the way. have to, you know, chop all that out, if, especially if you're in a survival situation. You want it closer to the edge. Well, that's just a lot more carving you have to do. But... Uh, I ran through this one, so I'm gonna go ahead and try this one here. Uh, I made the uh, the angle a little steeper, and I didn't go as far into the circle with this one. Um, this should focus the embers a little more. So let's give that a try. Oh, and I also shaved off a bit of this. Made a uh, the fire part of the spindle a little more blunt because I had uh, sharpened that to a point just by running it through the fireboard. Let me make this a little more blunt even, even more than I have. Let's give that a shot here. Yeah. <laughs> 
There we go. Woo! Right in the face. Oh, there's a fire. It's your fire. It normally doesn't go like that in your face, but uh, that was actually pretty good for uh, a video. Well, that's how you uh, take a long time to do a bow drill fire. Well, that's how you do a bow drill fire. Um, trial and error. Uh, obviously, try and try again. Uh, obviously, I showed you that this is the one that I burnt through the first time before I even started this video. Tried this one. The spindle kept popping out. Uh, then I went back a little farther. Uh, first time I cut, I didn't go in far enough, so all the residue was staying up along here instead of going down this crevice. Cut back a little farther, um, just outside the center, and uh, everything went right down, just perfect. Uh, put it in my bundle. I think my bundle was a little uh, damp. Normally that stuff goes right up, that jute goes right up. Uh, I can usually hit a couple uh, strikes with my uh, flint and uh, it goes right up. So it might have been a little damp because it's so wet out here. But uh, it's a build drill fire. Um, give it a shot. Remember, uh, you want uh, your spindle and your fireboard to be very soft wood very soft wood uh, pretty much uh, as soft as you can find wouldn't go bossel but uh, but something along the line uh, bow can be any green stick really as long as it has a little strength to it um, hand hold hardwood's best you can use bone you can use all kinds of stuff anything you can uh, wear a little hole into or a little uh, divot into um, and uh, make sure I suck up my eyebrows, which I do. Um, uh, and that's it. I'll try to start making more videos for everybody. It's been about five months since my last video. Um, maybe char cloth, um, some fire starters. Uh, I got a new fire starter system that I, I bought. Um, the nice uh, flint striker and some. Uh, what's called wet fire. They work really well. I'll probably do a video on that. Um, and uh, I got a baby coming uh, next month. So I'm not sure how much I'll be able to do after that. But uh, there you go. Uh, you guys enjoy your holiday and uh, Merry Christmas.